happen if that kind of messaging goes on until 2022? Then we are going to have situations in this country that we cannot manage. I am one person who has committed to say that we will never go back to where we were. And anybody who is in, because it is that kind of a build up of saying, hey, this is a Kikuyu, the report is a Kikuyu, there is no face of Kenya in a Kikuyu. Surely a committee of engineers, professors, architects. How can you start talking about face of Kenya in such a report? And what message is he sending there to start with the people of this country? And I will not see things being done. I would rather lose everything. There's nowhere in the Bible or in the Constitution that says that I must be in the leadership of this country. I would rather lose my leadership position. I would rather not be in Parliament. But I'm not going to close an eye as things which we ignore them today and tomorrow they grow up in something big like we saw in this country in 2007. When it comes to this country and the safety of our people and the long term peace and security and the rights of Kenyans to bring up their children. In this country, we only have less than 2,000 elected leaders. In a country of 50 million, I'm happy to join the 50 million. I don't have to be part of the 2,000. But anyone thinking today you are going to Chocola Maneno and then we ignore, tomorrow you say something else. What about if we Kenyans, where we've come from? We might be excited in all these years as of who is going to be what, and we forget. Because we have that problem of having a short memory. We might forget where we have come from, and we might forget some of those nuances that people throw left and right. I don't care who is going to be president. I don't care. I want to be president. Is it life and death? No. But we cannot keep on doing things the same way, and then we expect different results. That I will not allow. So. Please